Welcome to this Google Sites screencast where we're learning how to share resources and files. In this screencast, you're specifically going to learn how to embed a Google Drive file right on a page of your site. So here I am at my site. I've created this syllabus subpage here for my class. And in this example, I want when my parents or students come to this page to actually see the document embedded right here on the page already open. So this might be something where if you made a flyer for a particular event and you had people coming to a page, you want that document just open and sitting there rather than people having to click on a link and, and go to the document. So I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to place my cursor where I want to put the document. I'm going to go up to Insert Document. This is going to show me a list of all the things that I have in access to for where I can bring documents in from. So i am already clicked on Documents. This is showing anything in Google Drive. Here's the syllabus. If I didn't see it because I have millions of files, I could search and narrow down the files I want to pick from. So there is my file. I hit select. So now these are the properties to set up what that gadget is going gonna, is gonna to look like on the page. So I typically don't like putting a border around things, so I uncheck include a border. Uh, do I need a title? I don't think I need a title on this one. The height by default is 600 pixels, and we'll get into that in a minute. The width, if you leave this blank, it says that it'll fill the width of the page. So the, the document's going to fill the width nicely here, so I'm going to leave that blank as well. I'm going to hit save. Here's what the gadget looks like on the page. Again, it's just a box while you're in edit mode. Here's the properties for the gadget. I'm going to center this up. I'm going to hit save for the page and take a look at what this looks like. So once I save, I see the document embedded on the page. Now I noticed something kind of funky here, and I did this on purpose. Anytime I embed documents, I don't like when there's a scroll bar within a scroll bar. So this is the scroll bar for the web page. This is the scroll bar for the document. That drives me nuts, and it'll probably drive my students and my parents nuts if they're not sure how to scroll you know, in the right spot and, and get frustrated with that. So. This has to do with the height of this being less than the actual height of the entire document. So let's go back in and play with those properties. If we go back into edit mode of the page, here's the gadget. If I click on the gadget, here's the settings or the properties for the gadget. So we know 600 is too short. Let's try 2000. Let's just try a big number and see what happens. I typically do this. I typically try a big number save the page, I see where I'm at and I work backwards from there or I go higher if I need to. So now when I scroll, oh look at that, there is no scroll bar for the gadget, just the scroll bar of the page. So if I click and drag down, that's actually not too bad, that was a good guess. This uh, this this blank space, I could try maybe 1900, 1800, 1700, I could see you know if I really was particular about having all this gap at the bottom. So that worked, that's good. Now you always want to test anytime you insert something on a page, just like we did with calendars, you want to test if your audience can see it. So I'm going to copy this address for this page. I'm going to go up to the settings and open a new incognito window. I'm going to paste this address and remember the incognito window in Chrome, I'm working in the Chrome browser, it's this blue window. This is a window that is not signed in to anything. Uh, so not signed in any Google account. So this would be as if a user came to your page and we made a mistake here. The, the document is not showing. So this goes back to making sure, if I minimize this here for a second, making sure any files you add from Google Drive, you want to make sure that the sharing rights for those files are set to at least anyone with the link. So these are private right now. So I did this on purpose just to kind of illustrate this point. I'm going to go into the share button. See, it says private. If I want anyone to be able to see it that comes to that page, I have to at least make sure it's anyone with the link. And hit save. And hit done. So now let's go back over to our incognito window here. Let's refresh. And again, we're pretending we're a student or a parent here, and the document shows up. So that did work. So always test that. Okay. I'm going to close that window. Let's show another example. I'm going to go back over to my... Uh, my website I've been working on. I'm going to go to my calendar page. So I have a slide presentation of daily slides. These are kind of our agendas for the day. I thought this might be helpful if this is out there for my students. If they miss a class, uh, you don't want them to have access to that. So I'm going to put this on my calendar page. I'm going to edit this page. I'm actually going to change the name from calendar. I don't like that for what I'm doing now. I'm going to call this daily schedules. Okay, I'm going to move down. 
I'm going to click after the calendar to the right of it. See how that cursor is blinking and I'm going to put a return or two in there. Place my cursor first. Go to insert presentation. This is going to do the same thing. It's going to show the presentations from my Google Drive account. Here's my uh, agendas for my class. I'm going to hit select. Uh, same thing here. I don't like the border. I'll leave the title on this time just so you can see what it looks like. And I'll choose size. I'll try medium. And if that's too big or too small, I'll come back in and change that. So here's the gadget. I click on the gadget. I center it up. I hit, you know what, I got a gap in here. I'm going to take that gap out. I'm going to place my cursor and hit backspace once or twice. I'm going to hit save. And so this is what this looks like. Here's the calendar. And if I scroll down, here is the daily agendas that students could, students or parents could click through to see what we did on whatever, on whatever day in class. So this might be a good idea if you wanted to embed a welcome presentation on your home page for people to see. Um, you know, maybe you did some notes uh, for a particular unit. You could embed that. On, maybe you're making unit pages and you did a unit on a certain topic and you have slides that go along with that. You can embed that on the page. So it just kind of creates a more visual look for your users rather than having to click on a link and go see something. I would recommend, you know, using you know, use links where needed, use embedding on the page where needed and, and kind of see what works for you and what works for your students and your parents. Thanks for watching.